Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you, for which we earnestly long. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels, who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal. 144,000 marked from every tribe of the children of Israel. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshiped God and exclaimed, Amen, blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power and might, be to our God forever and ever, amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, who are these wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the great time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we are in the book of Revelation today for our first reading. And although the book of Revelation is often compared to a horror movie, it's actually one of my favorite books in the Bible when you get behind the text and understand what's really going on. Even though it's a highly symbolic text, those symbols have rich and deep meaning for us. And we're in the part of the book of Revelations where the tribulations that God is permitting on the earth have ceased. And God commands an angel to go around and mark on the heads all those who are his children. And so the angels go around and mark 144,000 people on the heads. And that's kind of a sign. Try to protect them. These are my children. Now, it's very interesting in this gospel, not gospel, excuse me, this reading, because in the first paragraph it says there's 144,000. And in the very next paragraph it says, there were so many people I couldn't count. So which is it? Well, the number 144,000 is a symbolic number, and it's a play on the number 12. The number 12 being the number of the 12 tribes of Israel in the Old Testament, and the 12 apostles in the New Testament, which became the church. So what is the writer saying? The writer is saying that this is all of God's people of all time. So we see a vision then on the day of all souls, or all saints, of all the saints who are in heaven. And what are they doing? They're praising God. How beautiful that is. They have passed through the tribulations of time, and they're praising God for his plan of salvation. Now this is hard to do, because when we look at time, when we look at history, it's not always pretty. How do we explain things like the Holocaust or even our present day political climate? And we look around and we say, well, where was God then? Where is God now? How can this be a part of his plan? How can I praise God for his plan like they're doing in the scriptures today? What this tells us is that in the end, when we are looking at God and his plan, we're going to understand. We're going to see it all come together somehow. And all we'll be able to do is praise him because it will be so beautiful, so true, and so good. And what we today have in common with those in the readings who are in heaven is that at one point in time, those people in heaven were also in time and space and history. And they look forward to the end just like we look forward to the end but they weren't quite certain how it was going to get there. But they persevered through their faith. The for their, through their faith, they persevered the tribulations that were a part of their time. Every time is marked with tribulations and imperfections. And our task is to look towards the goal and remember that one day we're going to understand. And it's all going to make sense. 
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not to make, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Let us bring all of our prayers and needs before God, our loving Father. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and si where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten, as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those who exalted as members of the church, through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. On your stay, Quitolis Vecatum. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace, so that coming the fullness of your love, we may pass from the pilgrim to the banquet of our heavenly land, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.